Hey, this is Joe Crump. I'm going to show you in this video how to get home sellers to say yes to your zero down offers uh, before you speak with them. And the way we're doing it is by sending out a series of text messages. Uh, and we're using the auto marketer campaign to do that. And if we go into these, uh, this campaign here, you don't have to set any of this up. This is already set up as a default in the campaign or in the program. And you can create new campaigns and do them in any configuration you want. But I'm going to show you how we set it up uh, and what's been working so effectively for us. So let's go into uh, this auto marketer and look at the campaign itself. We'll go to text and voice messages because this is where the series is. And as you see, you can pick a lot of different campaigns here and you can create your own campaign or you can edit this campaign. And, and in the auto marketer, you can send out either text blast or voice blast uh, to uh, leads that are scraped from Craigslist. Uh, if you go into the follow-up system, you can send a uh, text, voice, and email address to your leads that are in your system, but you can't send email addresses anymore uh, to uh, the auto marketer scraped leads. But let's just look here. On day one, uh, this text is going out. Uh, on day four, another text is going out, but in this text, there's a link. And uh, this is a tracking link. It's, it's made to be short. Uh, so that it fits into a text uh, easier. Uh, and this tracking link takes you to one of the clone sites. And all through this series, on day eight, another text goes out, but this is a different uh, uh, clone site. And then it sends out one without. A, uh, on day 15, it sends out one without a URL. Uh, and then it sends one with one. So what it's doing through this process over a three-month period is sending them different options about how we can make offers to them. Let me show you the clone sites that it sends it out to. The first one is the rent to own seller site. And they can listen to this audio. It explains how they can sell their property and what we do, how it doesn't cost them any money to do it. Uh, and you can edit this site too. So if you don't have a big buyers list, you can change that. And then it gives them a place where they can fill out their information and put in uh, the information about their property and say, yes, I'd consider selling my home with a lease option. Now, this recording is completely written out down below here. So it gives them all the information that they need in order to make this decision to work with you. It also answers a lot of frequently asked questions. And this is actually a good one to read because it'll give you information about uh, rent to own sellers and uh, you know, objection handling techniques that you can use. And you can find this particular clone site, my version of the clone site here at buyersforyourhouse.com. And uh, you can read through this and uh, take a look at it for yourself. If your seller fills this out, uh, that means that they are highly qualified leads. And if you know what you're doing when you're talking to sellers, uh, the likelihood that you're going to be able to close a deal uh, when they fill out this form is very, very high. Uh, because it, it, the more the, the more a lead has to do to get you their information, the more qualified they become, the more they've raised their hand saying, yes, I really am interested, rather than just responding to a text. Responding to a text is good. Uh, filling out a form is amazing. So that's what we uh, would like to see. Now, most of the time, your leads are just going to respond back by text or by giving you a phone call. Uh, and then you need to call them. And even if you do get people that fill out these forms and you have these highly qualified leads, you still have to be competent on the phone and be able to speak to them intelligently uh, about the offer and about what you're trying to do. So until you learn how to speak intelligently about this, these leads are only going to be as good as everything else because uh, when you're not competent, uh, the people on the other end are going to hear not just incompetence, they're going to hear scam uh, because you feel uncomfortable when you're talking to them and that discomfort will uh, mean something else to them than sometimes what it actually is, uh, which is just incompetence and not that you're trying to scam them. So learn how to talk to people. I would say that 80% of the time uh, that I spend with my students in my mentor program uh, is teaching them how to speak to sellers. And I tell them, give yourself three or four months before you can expect to make money in this program. And that's if you put in eight to 10 hours a week uh, talking to sellers and learning how to do it. Uh, and uh, you won't have to do that forever. Uh, once you learn how to do it, then you're going to close a much higher level of leads that are coming in. At the beginning, you're going to close a lot fewer of the leads that come in until you, you get uh, competent at it. 
So if we go down the line of other uh, leads here and look at some of these other URLs, and by the way, this is a tracking tab or a tracking URL. So we've made it uh, intentionally shorter so that it'll, and then it'll keep track of how many leads that you're getting. If we look at uh, what we've gotten just in this short time that we've been running this particular campaign, uh, you can see that we've gotten 101 uh, unique or, or, or total clicks and 54 unique clicks. That means that 54 people have clicked 101 times, uh, so almost two times per person. And uh, that means that you've got some interest in these uh, campaigns and in these websites. The second website that it's ta ta taking them to is, uh, this is one of the oldest websites that I created um, back when uh, the internet was still new. And uh, it's just a, we will buy your house uh, <laughs> uh, site. And it explains what we do and the kind of properties that we buy. And uh, it allows them to make it, let us make an offer on their home and give us the information we need. And this information on this page uh, how much do you want for it? What do you think it's worth? What kind of condition? How long have you owned it? Why are you selling? All this information is stuff that you need in order to use the zero down structure hierarchy that I teach to be able to make an offer on every single property that comes through here. Even if it's a, a full priced offer, we can, even if it's a full price property and or they, they owe a hundred percent on this mortgage, we can still make an offer. Even if they're upside down, we can still make an offer using that zero down structure hierarchy. So make sure you learn those techniques so that you can convert these leads. The third type of, uh, um, the third place that it sends them to is the subject site. Uh, this is the, the page that it takes them to, and it explains how subject two works and it allows them to tell us whether they need to sell it because they have a mortgage is so high and they don't have enough money to sell the property or they just want to make more money by selling it. And we can help both types of people in this situation. And this explains how the offer works, how a subject to works, how we take over properties, what we do for them and uh, what their risks are and uh, some of the questions that, that people have about this. And uh, this is the one that you're going to get the fewest people to fill out because they're actually deeding you the property. But when somebody says, yes, I'll deed you the property immediately, uh, that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> and uh, you suddenly have a house that you can take over and uh, um, you start making money on immediately. So all three of these websites uh, will help. And we've got other websites that go through the, you know, that are in the clone sites as well. But these are the three that are in this particular three month campaign. Once we get these leads, then we can work with them uh, in our CRM. If you go into the lead management software and you can work with the leads inside the CRM, keep track of their property, uh, keep track of everything. And I'm going to show you how to use this in a different uh, video. Uh, but uh, this is the process of following up on the, on the people that respond to these leads. Anyway, I wanted you to see how we can actually get offers uh, and get sellers to say yes, uh, even before we speak to them. Thanks a lot.